it is a mindset thing really and we shouldn't really be looking for quick fix especially those of us who are the big ones who have always have to watch our weight don't focus on how much weight you are losing just try and keep moving that's what i tell people that's what i tell myself Hello guys, yeah, I've decided to put down the, yeah. Hello guys, I hope you guys can still hear me. I am still enjoying the sunshine. You can see I have put this tripod over there. So you're able to see more of me. So yeah, I'm going to be going back to the house shortly. So yeah. Uh, let me take off these glasses i'm really making this i'm really enjoying the sunshine getting the sun in my eyes and i just want to share this tip with you guys that it doesn't really have to cost an arm and a leg i know some people uh, wanted updates on the detox and have been doing since i got back life got really busy work got really busy everything got busy bear. I just want to show you some of this moment obviously most of the time when i'm going out for a walk it's just a quick brisk walk so obviously i won't want to be carrying my camera all the time and you know that once you have the camera it kind of limits your concentration on what you are doing so in most cases especially when the sun is shining and i just want to say for those of us who have gardens even when the sun is shining uh, you can't really, don't really have enough time to go for a brisk walk in the park or on the street just go out in the garden and for those who live in apartments and don't have a garden you can still make the most of the sunshine if you just just go in for a couple of minutes just to get a bit of the sunshine on your body and those of you who are people of faith you can even do a bit of prayer walk and um, it doesn't really have to be something that you have to plan so much like today i just wanted to show you guys this like i'm even wearing a skirt and we're just wearing sandals and it wasn't really a planned thing it was the last minute when i was leaving the house because i've got the rock sack i've got to i've got to carry this because of the things for my work that i need so i just decided to fold the tripod and put it in there i just felt oh i've been doing this for a while and i've not really done a proper catch up with you guys so um and i just want to also admonish or just kind of give this little tip don't look for perfection i know some people are always looking for the quick fix are looking for the keto diet or one other diet or the other don't look for sometimes when i go for detox some people are asking me oh how much how much have you lose i actually lost a lot quite a bit during the detox but that's not the main reason for me going for detox it's like taking your car from for mot then you're asking the car how much weight have you lose the aim of taking the car i know some of some people when i said this last time some people don't want to think why i was asking me what mot is it's an annual compulsory test you have to do in the uk on your car so it's a servicing that you have to do and you have to be given a certificate to say you have done it that your car is roadworthy. I think it's mini, mi, Ministry of Transport, MOT. Mini, min, yeah, it's mi, Ministry of Transport check that you have to do. So I feel when I do that for my body, it's just to give myself uh, a checkup or a kind of cleanse yeah so but when i come back i try to implement the habit and have clean diet for as long as possible but if along the way i feel like eating something different i try and eat it but it's just that mental capacity of just that mindset it's, it is a mindset thing really and we shouldn't really be looking for quick fix especially those of us who are the big ones who have always have to watch our weight don't focus on how much weight you are losing 
just try and keep moving that's why i tell people that's why i tell myself so like the whole year the gym was locked down more than a year going to about 18 months gyms the gym swimming pool and everything was locked down in the uk the only time i got to swim was when i went on the detox because there were very few of us there and we were all tested for covid and there was hardly people in the pool not many people really some people were feeling the effect of the water fast so but they didn't have enough strength to swim so um that was the only time I had to maximize the time there, you know. So what am I trying to say? Even if you cannot go out, even when they were completely locked down in the UK, the parks were still open. So the, the parks, obviously, when, even when we were on complete lockdown in the UK, the parks were opened. Yes, they were opened. So people can say go for a brisk walk. Uh, I know there was a time there was just I have there were some people whom I constantly see I don't really know them so but when, whenever I were, I'm on a walk in the afternoon at my lunch time I could see them as well so because they tend to do it almost the same time we just say hello to each other and just wave and just not really just you know somebody you see all the time you just caught say hello it's not like Nigeria where people stop and chat too much to, to someone they don't really know but obviously we just knew some of us were just regulars on those walks so but and even when you can't really do it regularly don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself up just a meditation as well i know some of you in the the last few videos i did there was one of them about three weeks ago when i featured that lady that was doing well be master class things like that when i see opportunity like that i go for them i did encourage a few people to come along and those who came along on that one really enjoyed it so that lady will really teach you a few more tips on how to use meditation how to there are a lot of tools that she teaches you on how to do things you can just wake up in the morning some gentle habits that you can wake up in the morning and implement in your life so yeah there is so many tools that you can use here and there and you don't really i try not to try not to focus on some certain things i know some of us we focus too much on things we are not able to do than the things we are able to do each day try to do try something new in the area you want to change any things you have to improve on just try and do, take little step baby step baby step don't push yourself too much so that you end up not doing anything about it i hope this really makes sense i just I didn't really plan this. It was just a last minute thing. I just said, oh, the sun is shining today. And by the time I closed from work, I, I had a meeting close to my house. So, and I just felt by the time I finished and on my way home, I checked the weather forecast and I knew that the sun was still going to be shining. So I just decided, oh, why don't I just put this tri tripod in my rucksack and then just say, uh, do a bit of catch up and i'm really glad i did you can see what i'm saying so just when you just have this little ideas small ideas brief quick ideas just try and implement them and not overthink things i think sometimes we overthink things and i'm guilty of that as well i'm still i'm still work in progress so um i just feel i should share this and i know one or two person might need to hear it and um yeah yeah i hope uh, you get it, getting something from this my chit chat i just really feel i don't do this chit chat enough i know uh, some of the some of the uh, live streaming I do I do try to bring in real life issues but I haven't really I think I did one on the pros and cons of what I detox when I came back from the detox that was the only one I've really done there's so much we can do to support each other I know some of us believe in prayer prayer is important but I just feel what really challenges me or what the area I think we should improve on as Africans and Nigeria in particular we pray 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 we pray everything away we just we do more, more we do prayer and without the action and that is what baffles me every little thing is well uh, god will take care god wants us to be the hands and the feet that he's going to use to make a difference in people's life or in our own life and we spend 24 7 in the church we hardly have the time to go out there and implement 
the actions we are supposed to take to make things happen. Um, I know some people see it, the simple interpret faith in a way that I'm not saying we shouldn't have faith, but the same Bible said faith without work is dead. So I think sometimes majority of us practice faith without work. This is not being judgmental, it's just an observation and it's an area of my life I'm trying to work on. When you do some of all this health and well-being stuff, like what I said we attended on the 24th of July, it actually gives you tools to implement your prayer time shouldn't just be a time of going to shopping list to God. Oh, please give me this. Bless my father. Bless my mother. Um, give me a car. Give me a good job. Um, bless my children. Make them the head and all the tail. How many times do you actually take time to even hear God and sit still and just be still and know that he's God? These are some of the things we should do in the morning. And obviously when you are praying that prayer list to God, you should also have time to reflect then put pen to paper and tell yourself as you are making your to-do list or your task list or whatever you want to call it for work also put a list for yourself for your personal things what do you want to do for my personal development today what do I want to do for other areas of your life to make things happen the job is good is pay you the give you the wages that pays the bills but there are other things you still need to do to look after your emotional mental psychological and physical well-being yeah yeah guys i think this actually have been it become very refreshing i didn't really know i didn't really know it was going to come out as good as it did yeah i'm actually really impressed i'm I really feel good about doing this and it's really good. I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> I know people in the park are going to be looking now. So what's wrong with this lady? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm going to I really feel good about this and 